So if you find somebody that has prolapse that's mild or moderate or severe, what do you do? You know, one thing that's very important for patients to understand is, especially if they wake up one day or they're in the shower and there's this almost panic because something is protruding out, it's not an emergency. Most of the time it's not painful. It really, for most patients, is a quality of life issue. So how we treat it is gonna to depend to a large degree on how much effect it's having on the patient's quality of life. If it really is causing bowel or bladder problems, well then certainly we need to do some things about it. Many patients are not bothered enough that, for instance, they would undergo surgery. Other patients really do need surgical repair to get things back in position. So how do you decide for the patient? Well, it begins with a very careful pelvic exam. Very often we'll do some minor studies of the bladder to make sure that in fact they are emptying properly. We don't patient, want patients to retain urine that can in the end cause infections and kidney problems and so on. We very often will do a little bit of testing and we have a very frank discussion with the patient about what areas of her life are affected. Does it affect the, the intimacy in the home? Is there bile or bladder issues going on? And then we will begin to have the discussion with them what their treatment options are. And if surgery is the option, is there anything new in surgery? There's a lot of development in surgery, and I'll tell you that we've come farther in the last 18 months as to how we approach these things in the United States than in the previous 15 years. Wow. It's so very it's exciting. Good. What do you do? Very often we'll use graft materials, and I think the key points for patients to understand are the types of surgeries we can do these days are less invasive. They are minimally invasive. That means patients are only in the hospital overnight instead of three, four, or more days. When less invasive, you mean less severe surgery cutting. Exactly. In fact, in a few years ago, most of these cases, we had to do an abdominal incision and do very extensive surgery. It took the patient six or eight weeks to recover, sometimes three, four, or five days or more in the hospital. Now we're able to do approaches with new graft materials through the vagina don't cut the abdomen at all in most cases. We can have them back on their feet and moving very well in 10 days to two weeks in some cases. What does the graft look like? Uh, how long does it take it to uh, take? We've got about another minute here. Let's we use several kinds of grafts. This is a very natural, soft type of graft. That's made out of pig skin and it really very nicely accommodates. We'll very often use that to rebuild the floor of the vagina, for instance. So this replaces the floor. So this is, this is a little giveable, but it's nice and firm. It's not going exactly. to tear, it's not it's going strong. to fall out. These are really hernias. These are types of hernias. Yeah. So just like somebody would have a hernia repair in their abdomen and have a little piece of mesh inserted to reinforce that, these are hernias in the vaginal area reinforcing pelvic floor defects. Just sew them onto the vaginal we, lining? We trim them and customize them in the operating room to really fit the unique properties of that patient's anatomy. Sometimes we'll use a different style graft. This is a man-made or synthetic graft. You, you can see there are little arms off the side. Yeah. Sometimes we'll use that for a different type of prolapse. Synthetic grafts are incredibly strong. That's their good point. One of the problems has been, though, that they can tend to erode into the vaginal tissue. It's a screen. It's not a natural product. One of the very exciting new things, and this is just being released in the United States this month, but we've been involved in the development of this over the last couple of years. You saw it first on the Dr. Bob show. Is that it incorporates, <laughs> you can see that the backdrop of that is that synthetic man-made material, yeah. but it has a little buffer, if you will, a very thin coating of a natural porcine product that gives it a much softer uh, feel and is much gentler to the tissue of the vagina. And this helps cut down on erosions, which have been one of the big problems for us. So this again is a graft. It just replaces the old tissue. It gives it firm. Nothing can fall through. Exactly. The prolapse goes away. It helps the bladder stay up in position. It helps the rectum stay down in position. It can help support the upper vagina where we see prolapse. 